Hey, what's up, guys? So, on my previous uh, video, the one before that you were watching earlier, regarding the HDR calibration, HDR sliders for Samsung Q8FN 55-inch Samsung QLED TV, um, I was looking at it and reviewing it, and I think I made a couple of mistakes here. Uh, number one, it was a mistake for me to, to move the contrast all the way to 50. Because I keep forgetting that this is a QLED. It's not OLED. And I'm, I was kind of treating it if, if, it, if it was OLED. And I made that mistake. Okay. So what I'm trying to say basically here is I should have known better that, you know, for the HDR sliders, for the paper white, you need to have a more redefined contrast ratio between your black digital levels and your white digital levels it's kind of like a distance between your dark levels on the digital levels black digital levels and the white digital levels and they have to be almost like there has to be a depth to it and what i made the mistake was i moved i moved it to the 50 and when you move it to 50 it becomes too bright this is basically what i had let me show you i had this and I had it at like 1,000. And it was too bright. You know, I've noticed that a lot of things here were too bright. And it just looks kind of foggy. Like there's too much smoke. And I'm like, well, this doesn't even look like HDR anymore. It looks like, uh, like a standard dynamic range. And I made that mistake. I, you know, should have done that. This is what I should have done. I should have moved my contrast all the way to 100 and you see when you move it to 100 you get more redefined black digital levels they're not being crushed they're just being more redefined look when you go to 100 now when we go to the brightness and move the brightness all the way to the zero look how much more redefined the black digital levels are going to be look at that now they're way too redefined now, and then HDR brightness, I should move it to 1500 so we can squeeze as much of that peak brightness for the high dynamic range. And voila. So these are my new settings. And this is what I recommend for the HDR calibration. Now, I know this is going to be difficult for you to see through camera and to see through a compressed video on YouTube. Uh, I'm making this video to help you out to show you what I recommend. Okay, for the Samsung QLED, I think you should try these settings. And I guarantee you, if you try these settings like this, you are going to notice a drastic difference in terms of that HDR. Now you're going to enjoy the HDR the way it was meant to be. Okay, trust me, if you try these settings, you're going to enjoy this game today and tomorrow and the next few days or f for how long you play it you're going to appreciate the hdr but remember this only works for samsung q8 fn okay i want everybody to understand that this only works for samsung q8 fn all right all right so basically let me uh, let me show you how it looks i mean i don't know if if my camera is going to be able to depict this but you will see in this level in this dark corridors of gears 5 you will realize just how more redefined the hdr is here okay and that's the whole idea of high dynamic range is to get that dynamic range of that nice contrast ratio with the color gamut all right so you have more depth of natural picture in basic terms okay Everybody else likes to use a different analogy on how to explain and define high dynamic range. I'm trying to use my own analogy how to explain a what basically high dynamic range does on your TV. All right, so let's get back to the game. As you can see, it just looks more natural looks more redefined okay 
it's nothing's being crushed here and i know you know looking through a camera you're probably going to think oh you're crushing the black digital levels no i'm not okay you'll just have to try this out for yourself again i'm, I'm making this video not to show you oh look here's the holy grail i'm giving you my settings here try these settings try it for yourself and you will see exactly what i'm talking about okay this is the hdr slider now remember you have your hdr slider but you also have to make sure that your picture settings are you know utilized properly as well okay that's another thing you need to uh look into all right now for those of you who missed my other video i can show you my settings really quick here so you guys can see it remember it's the game mode with the free sync backlit 50 brightness middle at the zero contrast 50 sharpness 10 you know what i changed my mind this is a 55 inch I felt moving the sharpness to zero is just making it more softer and I don't want the images to be too soft you know this is a 55 inch TV I don't want the images to be too soft and if you're watching this TV from six feet away it's gonna look even more soft so I think in my opinion this is a personal preference having the sharpness at 10 gives the image more more de uh, not detail but it makes it look more sharper instead of more softer and it's not sharp to the point where everything's outlined it's just a little extra sharpness that's needed for you to enjoy a 4k content color it's 25 contrast enhancer at high local dimming at high obviously uh, and of course the gamma you keep it in the balanced threshold zero and color space I always keep it at native this is my preference because I want to utilize as much of that color spectrum from quantum dots as much as I can so that's what I'm using in terms of picture settings and then of course the HDR slider which is right over here at the HDR slider it's something that you have to do within the game you click on the video and click hdr calibration and uh voila there you go and it just looks more redefined honestly it looks much much better so forget about that previous uh video that i did one about the hdr sliders that was wrong the picture settings were correct but the hdr sliders were, was totally off uh, that I would totally scratch don't use that you can use that for the OLED I guess but I already have the HDR slider for the OLED for you to use that one I already have on my first video that I did uh, yesterday but this for Samsung Q8FN this is what I highly recommend remember the contrast goes all the way to the right maximum the brightness goes all the way to the left zero and HDR brightness goes all the way to the 1500 nits try this try this give it a try and find out for yourself okay you don't have to just take my word for it to what I'm showing you here I am giving you the recipe use the recipe and then let me know what you think because many of you are asking me these questions hey man what do you recommend well here you go this is it this is exactly what you need to use in my opinion if you truly want to appreciate this game and if you don't like it remember you can always set it to your own value or, or somebody else's value I'm just sharing my recipe value here and I think this is in my opinion excellent you know if you guys disagree well that's fine but to me I think this is the best that I can do in terms of HDR slider here all right, so make sure you uh, pause this video, write these settings down, and try this out for yourself. Remember, you have to have a Q8 2018 and the Q9 uh, 2018. You can't use Q6 
and a Q7. Reason being you can't use Q6 and Q7, it's because they are different types of a panel. Yes, they are QLED, but they are edgelet. Okay, you got a totally different technology with the edgelet. Okay, it's not a backlit and it's not full array of local dimming. So remember that. This is full array of local dimming, backlit, there's no edgelet. So it's a different, different panel. All right, so I would just, honestly, why even bother getting the Q6 and the Q7? Just go with the Q8, wait for the uh, Black Friday sales, go with the Q8 or a Q9. I'm sure you'll be able to get a Q8 for a really good deal for 1200 or something, maybe even cheaper. Maybe maybe eleven hundred this you know holiday season. Just go with 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 the Q8 and that Xbox One X limited edition console. Get the gears, and then uh, watch my videos, and you can use these settings and you can enjoy it. Okay, but don't go with a Q6 or Q7. It's just not worth it, guys. It's just not worth it. Okay, Edgelet. I'm not a huge fan of Edgelet. Uh, okay, so just remember that. And I don't think you should be a, a fan of edgelet either. Go with a full array of local dimming, backlit LED, full array backlit LED. So use these settings and uh, I think you will enjoy it. I think it looks much, much better, looks more redefined. And uh, give it a try. Okay. You can even see the smoke pushing through. It looks just more redefined. And this is what the HDR is about. It's about the depth of picture. It's about giving that natural depth of picture. That's what the HDR really is about. Okay? So, this is what I recommend that you guys do. Give it a try. Uh, let me know what you think. This will be my last video for tonight. Tomorrow, the first video I'm going to do tomorrow is going to be PC. AMD Radeon 5700 XT. We're going to connect it to a 50-inch, ultra-wide, 3840 by 1080 QLED FreeSync monitor, 50-inch, and to see how well it looks, how well it runs, okay? So we're going to do that. We're going to check that out, okay? And we're also going to probably do another video where we're going to connect my Radeon 5700 XT to QLED to see how it runs on the QLED. But my very first video tomorrow is going to be about Samsung CHG90 connected via my Radeon 5700 50th Anniversary Edition uh, XT graphics card, which will be tomorrow. And I trust me, that monitor, I mean, I cannot tell you how much I love that that Samsung uh, QHD ultra widescreen monitor. I love that monitor, man. It's probably one of my favorite monitors for simulations, first person shooters, sports games. Um, if you have a PC and you can get that monitor for, for half a price or maybe cheaper, go for it, man, go for it. All right, well, I hope this helps. I apologize about my previous HDR slider settings so use these settings and let me know what you think and i'm pretty sure you will agree that this is way better than what i had originally okay i'm pretty sure you guys will agree on that well there you have it i promised you a bunch of gears videos gears 5 well there you have it all right so you ask for it i'm bringing it to you have a nice uh, friday evening i'll see you tomorrow saturday september 7th take care